So this is the Sun Crest. King Wraithwall stood here. With this sword, he cut the Sun Crest and took its power in his hand. But you're going to use the sword to destroy the Sun Crest. Aren't you, Ash? <sighs> Don't interrupt me, Vaughn. Revenge. You would have me use the stone? You would have me destroy the Empire? Is this my duty? Is this what you want? I cannot. Why do you hesitate? Take what is yours. The Chris is a blade. It was meant for you. Wield it. Avenge your father. Yes, it was I who wore Bashi's face, who cut down the life of Delmasca. Lady Ash, your father's murderer is here. You and Rex! I slew your king. I slew your country. Do these deeds not demand vengeance? <laughs> yes, good. Find your wrath. Take up your sword, fight, and serve those who die before you! A judge, Magister, there was. Two years passed. He took in his hand the Midlight Shard, stolen from Nabratia, and used it not knowing what he did. And Nabudis was blown away. Sid ordered this of him, to learn the Nethersite's true power. That man swore never to let such terrible power be used again. He forsook his Judas's plate and his name. Judge Sect. It's been too long, Gabranth. Reach out your hand, Lady Ash. But remember, that which you must grasp is something beyond revenge, something greater than despair. Something beyond our reach. Try as we might, Gabranth. History's chains bind us too tightly. No. We cannot escape the past. This man is living proof. What is your past, daughter of Damasca? Did you not swear revenge? Do the dead not demand it? this. You are not the kind to take base revenge! The wrestler I knew is gone. 
You are our saint, Tashelia Banagan. You must use the Nethersite. You must be the one to straighten history's weave. I am no false saint for you to use. Ash. In all Damascus' long history, not once did we rely on the Dusk Shard. Our people resolved never to use it, though their need might be dire. That was the Dalmasca I wanted back. To use the stone now would be to betray that. I will destroy the Sun Christ. I will discard the stone. You claim no need of power? What of your broken kingdom's shame? The dead demand justice! You're wrong. Huh? What would change? I can't help my brother now. My brother's gone. He's dead. Even with power, we cannot change what is past. What is done, is done. Yet without power, what future can you claim? What good a kingdom you cannot defend? Then I will defend queen and kingdom both. <sighs> ha! Defend! You! You who failed Landis and Almaska! What can shame hope to keep safe? Your shield is shattered! Your oaths poison those you would protect! Killing the Kingslayer will win you back your honor. When you abandon home and kin, your name was forever stained with blood. Aye. This stain is mine to bear, but I will bear it willingly, knowing that I did all that I could for hope. Green and strut as you like. In the end, we are the same. Bloodthirsting carrion birds. Hellbent on revenge. Disappoint me, Gabranth. What? He trusted you. When you bared steel against the princess, you forswore your obligations to your emperor. You shame yourself and make mockery of Lord Lars's trust. You are unfit to serve him as sword or shield, and so I release you from that service. Your presence is neither required nor welcome. 
Gebrannt! You are only a tool of this Venar. How quaint. We are allies. The Acuria give men power as a master feeds his dog. It is meant to tame us. How well you've resisted their wile. By turning your back on their stones, you give us free hand to write our own history. And at what price? Damascus freedom for your nethersite? I shall not suffer you to have it. The sun crisp be damned. <laughs> be sure that it is. For what other purpose do you think you've brought us here? But, my lady, I would have you stay your Acurian sword. The sun crisp is glutted with mist, and so precious a thing must not be squandered. Let us use the stone! Finish this for now! Sight, cocoon of the sun crest. Spill forth your mist upon this evil east. Let's see in sky be a wash in it that Bahamut may come and drink his fill. Design. Testament that man's history shall be his alone! You made your nether site for this. You mimic the Acuria Stone for what? To become a god yourself? On whose shoulders better to stand than those of the would-be gods? Ah, such high hopes I once had, but you ran and ran and they with you. Alas, the hour of your return is late! Come, family! Revel in the glory of my triumph! <laughs> no pity from me! That is my... <laughs> Behold the manufactured nethersite! The fruit of our power and knowledge! See what the stone of man is capable of! Witness its power with your own eyes! Fan free it to me!
Let him buy Fena. It is done. Ah, uh, how I have enjoyed these six years. The pleasure was all mine. Was there no other way? <laughs> Spend your pity elsewhere. If you are so set on running, hadn't you best be off, fool of a pirate? does. You fly, don't you? I suppose you'd better hang on then. Ash! The sword! We had to stop it! <sighs>
Al Cid? We let ourselves inside. The situation is one demanding some haste, you understand? How did you know where we were? <laughs> My little birds. They tell me many, many things. My lady, the war begins now. Then you were unsuccessful in stopping the Rosarian fleet? I used a variety of methods. All went according to plan until it came time to request withdrawal of our most devoted generals. In their enthusiasm for war, our great military leaders went behind my back straight to Marquis Sandor's resistance. The resistance? During training, a division of the resistance ignored their orders and disappeared. They were next found exchanging broadsides with the Imperials over old Nabradia. Why would they go there? They were asking to be found. You misunderstand. Those ships must surely belong to Rosarian division. They may have joined Ondor's resistance forces as patriots or even mercenaries, but in reality they are regulars of the Rosarian army, under direct command of our war pavilion. This fifth column has invaded Imperial airspace and provoked a response. Unable to abandon them, His Excellency the Marquis was obliged to give his main fleet the order to attack. And the battleground is the Lamasca. Should this fight drag on, Rosaria will enter the fray. The defense of Dalmasca is their excuse, and we will have a war between empires. Correct. They will buy their time waiting to strike until the Empire has spent itself against the Marquis. But then he will crush them and the Marquis both between his hands. Vane holds the Dusk Shard no longer. His advantage is lost. Vane has advantages enough. He stands on higher ground, and my birds tell me he has awoken something quite large. Bahamut, Lord of the Sky. There was a stirring in the mist, in the direction of Ridorana, I am told. Bahamut awoke soon after this. It is the mist that came before the Christ was undone. It breathed life into this Bahamut. If Rathus had not stopped it when he did, how much more mist might it have drunk? All went according to Dr. Sid's designs. Yes, the man's last great accomplishment, I fear. And so it falls to me to put an end to the thing. Vane commands Bahamut himself? He comes to Rabanaster. Then I will defend Delmasca and stop this Bahamut. This is my charge. That's our charge, actually. It's our home. It belongs to us all. And my charge is to hinder and delay this Rosarian invasion for as long as is possible. I will do what I can. Ah, yes. When this unpleasantness is done, you must come to Rosaria. I will take you to the Amber Vale of Clan Margrace. Such things I will show you. Until then, I will be waiting.
Come <laughs> on. 